So what is data analytics? So data analytics is the science of drawing insights from raw data. So it is generally uh, used by many organizations to draw patterns, to draw insights from the data. And, and this insights is generally used to make decisions by the management, by the organizations. So data is very important in today's world. So data analytics is something like we can make sense of data. So how does it impact in business? So data analytics is used in different domains and they can help us in a number of ways in all these domains. Like in finance domain, the data analytics can help us to identify the fraud detection, credit risk and assessments, improve credit rating and uh, provide more accurate pricing to the customers. So generally what the organization does before launching any product, they do a lot of analysis. They do analysis of related to competitive product, related to the price of the product, and what should be the correct price so that the, the product is available in the market on competitive price and the company should gain the optimum profit on that product. It, it is used in healthcare as well for diagnosing the different disease, medical image processing and improve fraud detection. So how fraud detection happens in healthcare? Generally, the patients have communication and have a relationship with doctors. They can, they can submit false claim to the organization and get money from the organization and that money is divided between the doctor and the patient. So this is how fraud detection is happened in the health market as well. So to, to improve fraud detection and to remove these kind of things, generally fraud detection methods are used and data analytics are used to identify those frauds. It is used in CRM as well. So when we go on any CRM website, generally we see a chat box over there. So so that is check for churn predictions. Churn prediction is the customer attrition rate. So what kind of attrition rate is available? Why the churn rate is so high and, and in which in any particular month the churn rate may be high. So generally it is used for churn prediction, attrition rate control as well and to evaluate customer satisfaction, whether the customer is satisfied or so generally we send customer different kind of surveys and based on the answers provided in those survey, we can use different analytics tools to identify how much percentage, percentage of the customers are happy with the product or, or what we should do to, I mean, to implement their the things they are expecting. And it is generally used in e-commerce systems as well to recommend systems. So generally what, what we see when we go on Amazon, and for the first time and for example let's say i search for any mobile device and i left that page i left that website so generally when, when i go on the website the amazon.com in the next time amazon will show me a different kind of offers available on the mobile phones that is how to so what what they do they just try to identify uh, if the customer is uh, interested in in this product or on in that product and based on that once they identify that the, that the customer is interested in mobile phone then they create some specialized uh, advertisements or offers and that is generally shown when we generally log on to amazon so forecasting demand forecasting demands is generally used when we when we are maintaining the inventory of something so we can we can, based on the historical pattern, we can forecast what would be the demand, what is likely to be the demand in the next coming months or in the next coming session. In, in e-commerce, we can, uh, by using data analytics, uh, organizations, for example, the retailers uh, create personalized stores. So in that store, they, they have all the items the, the customer is interested in. For example, the customer has searched for like, of pampers first time and then mobile phones so they they create a kind of store they create different kind of players or, or like the advertisements or messages related to the 
discount on these items those has been searched by the customer except that when we launch a new price in the market so generally sentimental analysis is done sentimental analysis is does generally done for any product to identify how the product is performing in the market whether the customers are happy or not with this product and whether the customers are happy with the price and the services of this product so sentimental analysis is done for that so for that we generally pick up the social media data and we would perform some statistical analysis for and and we comes up with the with the final outcome whether the customer is happy or not what percentage of customer is happy like this so so data analytics is used in sentimental analysis as well okay we will come uh, come up with the question and answers sessions later once i finish with all these kind of things we can come up we'll have a question and answer session for that right then we'll answer these questions data analytics is used in product production as well to identify the quality and defects in the product and forecasting again we can do forecasting in, in manufacturing industry we can do forecasting in finance crm and e-commerce industry so forecasting is used everywhere we can do, do forecasting related to the uh, number of employees required to do some work so all these kind of things are done by using data analytics in marketing and sales as well we use data analytics to create segmentation of customers so generally uh, when we are creating some plans we are when we are uh, creating the discount offers for all the customers we cannot create individual offer for each customer so we will cover all these questions later in the question and answer sessions once i'm done with all things will answer your questions during that time. So we have separate session for that. We have a fixed allotted time to cover all your questions. So we'll cover question, question and answer sessions as well. So I was on segmentation. So what the organization, the retailers do to increase sales, they they create different segments. They create different groups of customers and based on their age, based on their family background, their educational level, their financials. So they create some clusters, they the group of customers and based on that group to so be implement the strategy. So let's say if a retail store has 1000 customers, a real number may be more than that, but just for example, I'm taking 1000. So it, it will be quite difficult to make 1000 business plan 1000 marketing plans for individual customers so generally we divide the customers into two different groups and based on that groups we create different plans so let's say we can divide all 1000 customers in five or six groups and then we can implement the business strategies with those five groups so this uh the customer grouping is done based on by using their like data historical data and they are, like, as I said before, their demographic information, their their age, their family income, all these kind of things. And we can implement the strategy. We can create different strategies to enhance our business, enhance our sales. Lead predictions. So predicting the future prospect customers, we can use data analytics, cross selling and upselling. So cross selling is what when when we have a customer, for example, he is getting some product a from us so we get to know that this this customer may be interested in product b so we can try to upsell or we can try to cross sell product b as well to that customer so generally generally we can choose data analytics methods data man analytics strategies to to increase our sale by using cross selling or upselling customer lifetime values generally in sales what what we does so what how much uh, value how much dollar value we have got from any customer to identify that we can use we can use data analytics strategies to identify customer lifetime values and retention analytics as well so uh, here we can we can use the different strategies to retain customers for example like if you are a customer of a 
of a of an organization getting a product a and uh, like they, you are not using that product that much so they can try to identify that this customer is not using our product though he is paying a lot of amount this number of amount to us and based on that they can identify that this, this customer is at the higher higher rate of attrition so generally they try to contact that customer and try to identify whether the customer is facing any difficulty with the product or he is interested in some other product of the similar kind or maybe with the better benefits so retention analytics is again help us to attend to retain the customers data analytics is used in logistic as well for demand forecasting route of route, route optimization route optimization is generally when we send different products to customers so generally we can use a number of route to send those products to the customers but what we can do by route optimization we can find the optimum path we can find the shortest path so that we can send the, that, that product to the customers quickly inventory management again we can use the data analytics we can use data analytics in advertisement from a to critical industries like visualizing different things visualizing their effects and drug discovery analytics so there are n number of fields where we can use data analytics right and there are n number of organizations many organizations those are offering a lot of uh, job opportunities on data analytics whether that that is health in healthcare domain or in e-commerce industry or in logistic domain so data analytics is available everywhere because and in recent years for example starting from 2012 the, data, the job opportunity in data analytics is, is increased a lot so they, they are the organizations are offering a good packages for data analytics job as well so let's look at how data analytics is useful in sales for different kind of things like in data analytics as i discussed in the previous slide as well can be used to generate leads and like lead scoring what percentage of i mean how much the lead would be going to be effective and match the people requirement generally in sales we have a big challenge if we are not able to map the customer's requirement so fulfilling their requirement we use data analytics we can use data analytics for people management and talent management as well so in sales again maximizing customer lifetime value and cross-selling or upselling different products to the existing customers and churn productions and there is and the price fixing or the setting of the price of an item is again very challenging task for the organizations because we have the similar kind of products in the market and they are offering the services on very competitive price so generally we have to do data analytics uh, we have to analyze the data we have to analyze the products like offered by the competitive offered by the organization those are our competitors and then we need to set our price based on that so it is used in sales and a cat killed average is dead